Hello friends, I welcome you all to the NQ Sports YouTube channel once again with a very very interesting comparison between two of the world's best boxing gloves manufacturers Green Hill and Venom. First of all we are going to have a look at the Green Hill Tiger boxing gloves. Now this is uh, how they look like in the packing. If we unpack them, um, I'll just show, show you how they look like. Now this is a blue color variation of the Green Hill Tiger uh, boxing gloves. Now these gloves are predominantly used for training or for sparring. Um, all in all, if we, uh, if we uh, get a brief overview of these gloves, we are going to find out that these are quite comfortable gloves. Um, of course manufactured in Pakistan. Green Hill is not a Pakistan Pakistani manufacturer. It is a German uh, based company but they manufacture all their uh, boxing gear here in Pakistan. So if now uh, I'll just put, put on this glove and show you this is a 12 ounce glove and uh, all in all the fitting is very very comfortable. The molded uh, protection of this glove is very 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 unique and comfortable same goes for the thumb lock if you look at the uh, thumb lock and if you feel it while wearing which obviously i'm doing right now it feels quite comfortable it is not pinching at all there were a few models uh, manufactured by green hill such as the lotus in which uh, this area used to pinch uh, the fighter but uh, in this particular glove they have solved this issue if you look uh, at the inner part of this glove, this is not a lace-up glove. This is a standard uh, sort of a glove. Obviously, IBA approved. And the ventilation holes uh, exist here as well. So it is quite a, a decently ventilated glove. I won't call it a very, very high-end glove. But obviously, um, it, it, is a, it is a good value for money. Yes, there are some good competitors in the market. Uh, but uh, if you... If you ask for uh, a decent product in a decent price, then this is not a not a very bad option. The shock absorption system uh, in this uh, glove is very very good. It's quite good. You can use it for training. You can use it against the coacher pads, or you can use it in, uh, during sparring. And this is of course solid cowhide leather, uh, which is the which is one of the highest forms of leather present in the world right now it says genuine leather which is of course the solid cowhide leather there are a lot of color variations in it uh, we can have a look at the red color as well this is the red variation of the same glove it comes obviously in a in a variation of uh, uh, weights and sizes this one is obviously the 12 ounce one it comes in 14 16 ounce 10 uh, 10 ounces so you can probably get whatever you are used to you are accustomed to and um, again similar qualities similar feel and um, one thing which I always uh, don't quite like about Green Hill is the fact that the weight the weight distribution is not very very you know symmetrical if you if you uh, look at this glove obviously it looks and it feels front heavy now this part according to me is not very very well padded uh, although the uh, velcro part is good you can easily take on and take off these gloves without any hassle and uh, this is something which uh, Green Hill uh, uh, thrives upon and obviously this this area here is also very well protected but obviously there there is always a room for improvement uh, they have to improve and I'm sure they'll keep on improving considering their remarkable uh, positioning in the market right now if you compare these with the with other standard gloves used for sparring or used for training um, we come across something like venom now these are the venom gloves obviously the uh, venom packing and the, uh, the venom gloves that come out of it um, again high quality gloves now unlike the green hill gloves these gloves are made in thailand Green Hills were made in Pakistan. These are made predominantly made in Thailand. Although some models are made in Pakistan as well. If you compare these with the Green Hill Tigers, you'll 
immediately find out that these ones aren't all that soft as the tiger ones. These aren't uh, made up of a solid uh, cowhide leather, of course. Uh, looks like Rexine or artificial leather. Uh, but obviously when you look at the price tag, the Green Hill Tigers are uh, priced at something around $100, whereas these ones are something around 60, 70. So obviously, uh, if, you, if price is the main concern, then these gloves can turn out to be the winners. Uh, if you compare the, the geometry, if you compare the shape and everything of the Venom glove with the, the Tiger, with the Green Hill Tiger glove, you'll find out that there is not much of a difference. But one of the biggest differences is the fact that in the Venom gloves, the weight is very, very evenly distributed. Although these are cheap price gloves, but the weight, are, weight is extremely well uh, distributed as compared to the Green Hills, in which we'll obviously see that the gloves are front heavy, which definitely happens uh, in case of mass productions, um, which is predominantly the case here in Pakistan, where the gloves are uh, produced in mass, and these things can occur. Um, obviously, the attention to detail in Venom gloves is a lot higher as compared to the Green Hill gloves. Uh, I still feel that although Green Hill is a, is a world-renowned brand, but they can work on their finishing, finishing touches and their quality control. I think quality control is essential. Um, this glove, this Venom glove, is uh, a better quality, uh, uh, you know, value for money. Same sort of a ventilation, a good thumb lock as well. Not as good as the one in the Green Hill, but uh, one thing in which Green Hill turns out to be the winner is this part, which obviously Venom does not protect you as well as the Green Hill does. And um, again, this comes in a variety of sizes um, and uh, weights. So you will probably go for 10 ounces, 12, 14, 16, or whatever you are mostly accustomed to. So this was just a brief... Uh, comparison between Venom and uh, Green Hill. Um, keep your feedbacks coming in. Um, in the coming days, we'll definitely throw some light upon other brands and other boxing equipment. We, we'll uh, talk about the Green Hill head protectors as well, Venom head protectors and shin, shin guards and all that stuff. If you want to buy uh, a pair of these, uh, don't hesitate to contact us here at NQ Sports. We can definitely um, help you get these because we have them available at our store. So for that purpose, you'll need to contact us on our Facebook page or on or on our Instagram page uh, named uh, NQ Sports. So until the next time, take care, stay safe, and goodbye.